Hello, welcome to handsonerp.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'm, I'll be talking about General Ledger setup steps. Now, the purpose of this tutorial is to give you a high level roadmap of uh, what is involved in implementing General Ledger. Okay, uh, because in subsequent tutorials, you will be learning details about in the installation steps. I want you to have a high level roadmap in front of you. Uh, throughout the uh, rest of the tutorial so that you know uh, at what point you are in the, in the whole uh, big picture okay so <coughs> these are the steps you need to go through before you uh, have a journal ledger module implemented okay you need to create a ledger uh, for now just understand ledger is a book in, in, in the book you will enter lots of data okay there will be tutorials uh, regarding each of these steps in, in a lot of detail okay once you have created a ledger you have to uh, set up initial attributes of that ledger okay we call it accounting option and that attributes will dictate how this ledger will behave in the actual uh, environment and once you have that done you grant access to uh, for, for the ledger to the users okay so that users can see the data in that ledger and they can enter data in that ledger once you have granted access to the ledger uh, once you have granted users access to the ledger you then open the first period in the ledger you do activities in the ledger in on a periodic basis you open the period you do activities then you close the period this is how all the activities are managed in in most of the modules okay so you have to open the first period now this all represent uh, the fixed step that you have to do before you have a workable uh, uh, journal ledger module available now once all that is done then finally you can configure more options based on client's requirement now this last box is representing uh, not one or two options like tons of options that are available in general ledger and that might differ uh, drastically from one client to the other for example one client might want to use budgets while the other clients uh, want to use mass allocation while yet another clients want to use consolidation so we're gonna be learning all those features available in general ledger that client might or might not want to use okay uh, so <coughs> all these uh, first four boxes um, are these tabs that are required in order to create a working GL instance. Okay, uh, they are mandatory tabs. Most of these options cannot be changed later. So whatever you choose in these tabs has to be uh, well thought. Uh, you have to really know uh, that this is what clients. Uh, need and you can't really roll back okay uh, so these are very important share most of the time is spent on these four uh, first four steps while implementing uh, general ledger module now <coughs> having said that after the first four steps you would have a working general ledger module so you can enter data you can you basically you can start using general ledger module at these uh, after the first four steps now at the end uh, you can set up more uh, options for the client based on the client's requirement okay and as I told you there's tons of options available in general ledger and we're going to study all of those that client may or may not need <coughs> most of these options can be changed later okay while the system is up and running okay and you can even modify these options if they're not set properly so they're not as uh, everything is critical but they're not as critical as the first four boxes okay now now try to understand how we're gonna learn uh, this general ledger uh, functionality okay so this is how I'm gonna uh, be uh, creating tutorials based on this logic so we will implement a GL module with uh, minimal uh, setup okay so <coughs> my whole idea is we're gonna uh, start with an imaginary requirement I'm gonna implement uh, a, a company with you uh, in the tutorials so that you know what are uh, what is involved in all these steps after the four steps you will have a working GL module available once we have a working GL module available we will learn all features available in general ledger one by one for so all those features will be representing the last box here and we might also be visiting back these accounting option screen uh, because accounting option screen does allow you to change few of the uh, features uh, when the system is up and running and uh, you know we might be going back to that screen as well as we might be learning all those features available in journal ledger uh, that client may or may not be interested in okay so first my whole idea is first we're gonna create a 
uh, reach a point where we have a working GL module available and then we're going to learn all the features one by one uh, available in Oracle General Ledger. Once you know all the features uh, in a step-by-step -step, uh, learning approach, okay, after a step-by-step -step learning approach you will have a good idea of uh, all the features available in General Ledger and then at the end I will do a recap of all the features uh, and will propose basically a list of questions that you can ask your client and this list of questions will help you do the requirement gathering uh, from your client because as a first step before you do the implementation you have to do the requirement gathering you have to find what is what are the requirements of the client you can't do the requirement gathering unless you know all the features of Oracle so that's how we're gonna learn we're gonna first learn all the features of Oracle in a step-by-step -step manner and based on what we have learned then I'm gonna propose a question right now there is no point of proposing a questionnaire to you because you would not understand any of that once you know Oracle features then you, you're gonna be looking at uh, uh, the uh, all the implementation questions that you need to be asking your client now this will be your guide in your in, in reality uh, in the real project when you will go you take these implementation questions with you and of course you need to modify them uh, little bit based on the the nature of the project and nature of the client for example um, so this is what you will be doing in the field you will be performing the complete requirement gathering okay before you can do the actual setup so first you do the requirement gathering then you do perform the actual setup okay now requirement gathering could be performed based with the help of the implementation questionnaire that I'll propose at the end okay of course you need to modify it a little bit for example if you know that client doesn't use uh, f doesn't use uh, foreign exchange transaction then you won't be asking him questions about uh, you know uh, exchange rates etc just an example okay so of course using common sense you might want to adjust the questionnaire but uh, that would be your starting point <coughs> now uh, this whole perform setup the step two is not really a small step it can it can cons uh, basically consist of all those steps that we studied in the first few slides okay performing setup involves all these steps so once you have the requirement that what client wants then you will be creating a ledger setting up initial accounting options granting access to the ledger opening the first period and then configuring all the options that client need okay so this is how we're gonna be learning a uh, journal ledger okay and uh, that's and you know the high-level roadmap now uh, and keep that in mind uh, why while, uh, while you're going through the subsequent tutorials okay and, uh, and this is what uh, you would be doing in the real project okay and uh, based on the, the implementation questionnaire that I'm gonna uh, give you you can uh, do the requirement gathering and do the whole setup for the client now just keep that in mind uh, while you're taking tutorials it's very important to keep this thing in mind that you'll be learning two things you'll be learning what end users do on day-to-day -day basis that you really won't be doing on daily basis but you still have to learn for example you still have to learn how to enter a journal you won't be entering a journal you're not an accountant okay you're just a consultant but you still have to know how to enter a journal because you might be training uh, users and you might be fixing their problems and the setup screens will be changing the behavior of the journal screen so you the cup a couple of reasons you need to understand what users do so you'll be learning all those things that users do and you'll be doing that actually in the, in the coming tutorials and also you'll be learning the, the setup task okay setup tasks are only those things that consultants do and users don't have visibility on and what uh, setup tasks are but consultants need to perform all these setup tasks these setup tasks these setup screens will dictate the behavior of the screens used by end users okay so consultants need to know two things what end users do okay and what uh, how to perform the setup of the actual application so keep this uh, concept in mind while taking uh, future tutorials okay so the whole idea of this tutorial was to give you a high level roadmap of how we'll be learning journal ledger module okay so that's pretty much it and i see you in the next tutorial